like MLB. These Bottega boots ain't cheap. My car ain't got no key. I push the start to start my week. I'm in this photo, Porsche, so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Smack dab in the middle of I-295 that encircles the city of Jacksonville in Northeast Florida. There's a good look at TIAA Bank Field. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup set to go here between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Jacksonville Jaguars. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Lawrence going to put it up right away. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Mullen. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs, his third rushing touchdown on the year. And the Raiders use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. So probably should have opted for the touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is, and his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Lawrence... He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first and 10, it's ETN. Room here to run. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Now, look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath round, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
The Jaguars in three and five, two games under 500. Well, they were losers their last time out, trying to get back in the win column, but obviously not an easy task here in a hostile environment. Yeah, always tough to win away from home, but sometimes what you do is you use these types of games as bonding experiences and carry that into the contest. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And they'll go again with ETN. And out of bounds right around the 20. A gain of three, second down. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give them a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Zay Jones, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point, up and good from Santoso. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. set to get this drive started and yeah, they dipped a game below 500 following the loss last week and you get the sense that maybe this team's at a little bit of a crossroads here yeah i think that's a really good way to put it because what's that old mallet prop if you come to a fork in the road take it <laughs> because this crew they're losing ground fast they've got to start winning some ball games and the good teams they're starting to separate themselves and these guys are being left behind so quickly all the way up at the 40 yard line Complete. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They're going to look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Going to give it to Jacobs. And that one going nowhere for the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. made by Hunter Renfro. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. Throwing on first down is Carr. A hit as he throws there incomplete. 
Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. They're looking deep for Adams. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That'll allow him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Now Carr. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. And the first play will be a field goal try. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. So distance not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Finds his tight end, Ingram. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll leave him with a third and two. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more. 